Thanks, Mel. As we check the grid for the final race in the Mazda 3 Celebrity Challenge, I couldn't think of two more appropriate people to have alongside me because, Ange, we had some celebrity drama yesterday in Murph. We had a fantastic car race. We'll touch on that in just a sec as the cars roll off for their formation lap ahead of this five-lap race in the Mazda Celebrity Challenge. But, Ange, first, celebrity drama. Clint Stanaway, Rachel Finch, turn seven around the back of the circuit, and Rachel goes over. Rachel goes over. She ended up on the roof of her Mazda 3 and only to get out a few minutes later and wave and say everything okay and she's she's talking the talk this morning she's back on track there you have a look at this I mean that was that was a sizable crash to have her back in the field today I take my hat off to her that is incredibly brave we spoke about the safety though that in these cars you know uh, the roll cages are in there they've got the, the the proper racing seats the harnesses all that kind of stuff so you know uh, head and neck supports all the drivers are wearing those as well look at it she looks brand new looks so she's just been to a photo shoot. She does have a brand new car, we will say, to be yeah. driving today. Had the damage there. And she just mentioned that she's a little disappointed she's not higher up on the grid because she will be starting from uh, the well for the back of the grid, second last position down with Sam Mack, the other DNF yeah. from yesterday's race. Is she is she is she hunting down Clint Stanaway? <laughs> I think I think Revenge. his car has a target on it, doesn't it? <laughs> Revenge, Murph, is that what you're saying? No, I'm sure that's not the case. But I, uh, good on her. Back out there would have been very easy just to step away and go, that's enough for me. Sure. She, uh, she She's got that competitive streak, obviously. Yeah, definitely the racing car driver after only a week of training and Phenomenal. racing. Because already the approach isn't, oh dear, I might be injured. It's, I want to get back out there. I'm disappointed I didn't win. Yeah, um, you know, as I say, it's just awesome to see. Uh, we had a great race yesterday. Obviously cut short because of that uh, that rollover by Rachel. Uh, but we're looking forward to a full race today. Hopefully five laps of the Mazda Celebrity Challenge. And um, we'll see what Robbie McEwen can do if Bree Emerton can actually get a bit of a jump on him. That was a good race at the front. Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about, Guru, because you're the racing champion. You've won Bathurst four times. The battle for the lead yesterday in those first three laps was outstanding, and it was really high-quality motor racing between the two of them. A little bit of mirrors bashing here and there, but aside from that, it was fast, clean, and controlled, and a very aggressive battle for the race lead. Oh, I'm loving it. I mean, uh, there's quite a few cars with a little bit of, you know, panel damage on them where the, the racing's been tight. Uh, Tora Bright, what a great result oh, I heard. Oh, no. To be for, though. I reckon, I reckon we're on board here with Tora. I reckon, uh, yeah, Millsy, he better watch it today. And uh, those two up the front, if she can latch on the back and, and follow them, you know, who knows what could happen. Millsy has, in fact, in fact, run into her during practice on a couple <laughs> of occasions. And I know she has him in her sights. And she is in position four. Millsy, musical theatre star extraordinaire in position three, famed for his Grease Lightning Mobile. Tora Bright is actually one of four women we have in the top ten in this race this year, which is terrific. Uh, Katrina Roundtree is in position seven. Lydia Lassila, who we're talking to, I'd seeing on board right there, is in position eight. And Maz Compton, drive time radio host, is in position nine. So a very good effort from uh, from the women in a race that is yet to be won by a woman. I thought Maz did a really good job yeah. yesterday. Sort of under the radar, snuck, it, snuck into the top ten at the end of the race. So there is Maz in car number 14. So she's making done. sure, I think, that the Maz is in gear, maybe. She's having a look down there. So Mazda 3 SP. P25 Sky Actives, a full field of them this weekend, and these are production cars to the T. The only changes they've made to these from the road going model you can buy at your local Mazda dealer is a roll cage, which we saw works extremely well yesterday, <laughs> plus the seat and the harness. That's it. These are production what cars. What if they'll make those optional extras in the future? Go down and tick yeah. the box for a roll yeah. cage. Yeah. I'd like the Rachel well, Finch model. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, as we get set to see them grid up here, um, Murph, Mark Scape's been the man training these these guys over the last week. Uh, have you had a chat to him? Did he, did he give you uh, any of the inside goals? No, he didn't actually, but, um, you know, knowing Scaifey, he would have had sat them all down probably yesterday afternoon and uh, given them a bit of a debrief after yesterday's race. And I'm sure he had his heart in his mouth when he saw, mm -hmm. you know, the incident with Rachel. Today. You know when Scaifey's worked hard, when his voice goes all husky? He was yep. pretty husky last night, yep. I think. He's had a bit on this week. So the final few cars rolling into positions. Well, what's Sam there is Sam it? Mack. From the very back of the field, 19th and last. It's last, let's be honest, and he has been full of action this weekend. Five laps the distance Red in race two. Oh, and there's oh, dramas. Is that has got a problem. So, crossed arms for Robbie McEwen. And the we race go. by. And he went nowhere. And he's stranded on the start-finish line. It's a clear run for Brett Emerton on the run to turn one. Yellow flags waving behind. Robbie McEwen has stalled and is going nowhere. Our race one winner. 
Well, obviously these cars all uh, automatic transmission, so not manual. So he's had a, a drama there, something to do with the electronics maybe that's cut the engine out in his car. And you can see the panic, obviously, being at the front there. A lot yes. of cars to go by. And thankfully everyone uh, took note of the yellow flags and everyone's got away cleanly other than Robbie, who was still sitting right there on pole position. The Bachelor got off to a great start. He's climbed up into third to Tim Robards. Rob, in, Rob Mills is in second place in car six. That great start from both of them. And that's Robbie down the bottom there on the right-hand side of the screen. He has got going and uh, will be obviously working pretty hard to try and catch up. Was well, he flashing, flashing the lights? headlights. I think he was, Murph. Yeah. That's the sign of an agitated racing car driver. <laughs> He's not a cycling champion anymore. He is a focused racing car driver. So everyone, aside from Robbie, cleanly away and some good early racing as they run up. Here's a dive up the inside. Charlie Borman working his way from the back good of the field. Move, they had move. a yeah, Charlie small... Charlie was much further up in the race earlier on and had a bad race yesterday. He'll be keen to make up some spots. Yeah, they said they had a minor little technical glitch on that car and sometimes you get that when you put a production car through the rigours of motor racing but he has already he's already inside the top eight from the almost the back of the field. So great drive through from the adventurer legend and actor as well. So he's looking to work his way up towards the front and with Robbie McEwen out of the way he could be an opportunity to get somewhere near the top three in this race. Sam Mack has climbed from last place well done and he's 15th and there's the bachelor we're in car with uh, on top right there and you can see he's not giving Rob Mills an easy run he'll be seeing him in the rear vision mirror and also Tora Bright is in position for a Katrina Roundtree in position five fighting it out among the women there. Just need to uh, cancel the sat nav on the bottom corner there, I think. Uh, I hope he's no. I, I'm, I'm Robbie McEwen. assuming now he knows which way to go. Yeah, you think he would. Yeah. Uh, be careful not to make a wrong turn. Well, though. correct, correct, and, and always give way to the right. <laughs> De Silva, oh, Lassila running a little bit wide, and Charlie Borman's going to get another position here, so he'll move himself up into the top six. He's having a great race, Charlie Borman. Showing a bit of aggression there. Definitely not taking the long way around. No, not giving Lydia a lot of room there on the exit of uh, turn 13. As they make their way around the last corner, the leaders onto the front straight at the end of the first lap. Now, this is a battle for second further up the road, Murph. Robard's right up behind Millsy now, so it's a good fight. Here's Lydia. It's a little bit further, well, actually, right at the very back of the field. Oh! Wow, a bit of contact on the start-finish straight. I think she was off on the edge of the circuit there. Not sure, looked like someone... Uh, got it a little bit wrong, and uh, she made the move down the outside. Yes, she's back past Charlie Borman, so she's made the move back on him. I'm not quite sure what happened to Charlie to, to lose that much momentum to let her back past, but the battle further back through the field. There's Rachel Finch Rachel making Finch. a move. Well, she's passed five cars already. And so she's got McEwen right behind. Oh, he's got his hazards on. No, they've just gone off. Now, what happened yesterday was they were turning into a corner and Clint Stanaway just behind clipped the rear of Rachel's car, tipped her over, and I thought there might have been a little bit of contact as Robbie McEwen came through, but okay. And what will be great now for Rachel is to follow Robbie through the field, Murph, and use him as the, uh, as the stopper, I guess, to get through all these cars, move towards the front. Yeah, here's McEwen on board, though. He's got the eyes on, obviously. Bit of frustration starting from pole position, but he's going to make a bit of a race of it. He's made his way through the field so far, up into 15th. Is five laps enough to do this move? No, I don't think so. I think Emerton's too fast uh, to, to be able to reel him in. Obviously, the, the battle they had yesterday, uh, right at the front. And as we look at Tora looking down the inside of Robards, giving, showing him the nose, and he's gone off the road. Obviously looked in the mirror there, I reckon, at Tora, and she's going to make that position. Great piece Third. of driving. Nice. Third. And Third. Karina Roundtree. She takes advantage of the mistake there to move up another spot as well. She's been a lot of places around the world, has Katrina, but this will be uh, fantastic to be P5 in the Celebrity Challenge, thanks to Mazda here at the Formula One Rolex Australian Grand Prix. She's going really, really well. But Tora Bright getting past Robarts, that's podium. Podium potential for Tora. Wouldn't that be an outstanding result? Absolutely now, here's a look at the start. And Robbie McEwen going nowhere. Good job by everyone to get through and not make contact with that stalled car on grid position number one. Oh, a bit of a touch-up there, too. <laughs> a couple aggression. of great starts there, though, as we saw people come up about three or four positions to make it into that top five. Uh, 
taking advantage of the fact that their pole driver was uh, still back on the grid. I think it was Maz Compton just giving uh, Lydia Lasilla a little bit of a touch up there into, into the first turn. Oh, a bit of sideways action by Robards. But the girls, they are fighting. Round so three, current, Bright. Yeah, currently we have Brett Emerton in the lead, then Rob Mills, then Tora Bright, then Katrina Roundtree, and then Bachelor Tim Robards. And I think it's going to take an attack by that RIF FA 18 Hornet to stop Brett Emerton at the moment. He's three seconds up the road. He's cruising away. Uh, the battle is on for second and third. My Mills, a second and a half up the road from Tora Bright. Then Roundtree fourth across the line. Round, uh, Robart's home in fifth at the moment. Bachelor Tim Robart's chasing two women. Oh, no I motivation at all. No, 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 he's chased a lot more than that in the past, so <laughs> it's very familiar yeah. territory for Tim. Uh, De Silva up to sixth position at the moment. So Adam De Silva, the chef, well-known chef, going very nicely. Charlie Borman from the back of the field to seventh. Maz Compton eighth. Stanaway ninth, and Robbie McEwen is tenth. But Murph, he's the fastest man on the racetrack. At the he moment. is the fastest man on the racetrack, and uh, he's doing that while he makes his way through traffic. So he's probably got a few more uh, cars that he's going to get past. He's going to make up a bit of ground here on Clint Stanaway. As we look at the two girls, what a great job. Has Karina done the challenge before? I did ask her that the other night. She said no. So, yeah, oh. this is an astounding first uh, first go for her, which is terrific. Doing a superb job there, chasing down Tora Bright. So a bit of a battle of the girls for the final spot on the podium right now. Her lines are fantastic too. These They've really picked up uh, a lot of skills here in the last few days and certainly working during the week with uh, Scaifey and his crew at Sandown Raceway. Yeah, Wednesday night, they were all presented with their CAMS race licence. So these are all accredited CAMS racing drivers. They could go and race in other categories around Australia if they wanted to. <laughs> Look at Tora's eyes there, Richard. Look at her. She's glancing to the rear view mirror, looking at Car Katrina. Katrina. <laughs> Don't look too much there, Tora. Focus on the road ahead. It's always something that you can... Uh, you get a bit of a habit going there and, and you can uh, misjudge and make a few mistakes. So she needs to focus. She needs to look at the track ahead, focus on her apexes and, and be consistent. She missed a little bit of the apex there through turn 12. They're heading down. Ooh. Yes, she's still looking this in the mirror. This is a good one to watch. Katrina has got her a little bit ruffled. She'll look down the inside. Textbook overtaking opportunity down here. But Ooh. not They're late on the brakes. Oh, just avoids contact with the back of... The oh, Katrina, she's Mazda. looking up the inside. Is she going to get a run? They both came off a little bit slow. Robards is going to be the one to benefit here while these two battle. And a little bit of advice if she could hear me to Toral in the understeer there. She's still looking in her mirrors. And this is going to slow her up. She's she's really going to uh, cost herself here. She's gone in too deep here. You can see how much uh, wheel lock she's put in. She's looking at those mirrors constantly. Here's Robards. He's going to benefit here. And, Ange, one thing these two can't do is cost themselves a podium because, as Merv said, Robard's looking very good here at the moment. That's exactly look right. Look at the look on his face. <laughs> he's, he's, you can see a smile coming out of that. He's, got the, head too, yeah, he's got the headboard He's got the headboard. Oh, there's a bit of sweat there, though. He's working very, very hard behind the wheel of that car. And Katrina's just dropped off the back of Tora a little bit as they run down to turn one. So a little bit of breathing room. Robbie McEwen is absolutely flying. Oh, no, no, he's not. not. He's off the road. I was looking at the timing monitor. It was all lit up for Robbie, but he is parked off to the side of the road it's out on of, the exit uh, 15, of the penultimate corner. Yeah. That won't be enough to finish the race. That's far enough off the track. Oh, no, he's had a big moment here. We just see a replay come up, so he's gone in way too deep. Tried to turn it in. Here we go. This is an in-car replay now. Late on the brakes. Oh, he's pumping the brake here. He's grabbed the handbrake. Good awareness from Robbie to grab the handbrake, oh. kept it out of the fence, no damage. Oh, that was masterful. It yeah. was pretty masterful. We had a bit of an issue there, clearly with the brake pedal. And uh, as he's gone into the turn, it doesn't look like it's responded as good as he expected. And Tora, she's got a bit of a lineup now behind her. Tim Robards has taken Katrina Roundtree and is now Oh, Katrina's given her a push. Oh. That's Robards. Oh, and she's going to spin Tora. Oh. But she's back on. She's oh, back on. A bit of contact when she rejoined the track. So that was Tim Robards in behind. Gave her a nudge going into the right-hander. There was contact and she ran wide. And look at that. That's a... Uh, Telltale sign, Murph, that Robarts has been into the back of the car in front. Yeah, now it's Katrina Roundtree up behind. And, and then he's oh. ventured off the road again at 10. Here we go, a replay. So this is turn three. So into the right-hander. And this will be where Robarts gets past Katrina Roundtree. So tore a little bit too hot out of the corner. And Robarts will get one position. And then going up, 
this next segment of the racetrack. Yeah, there's another replay from the outside. As we see them all running very, very deep. And Robart's benefiting from that little mistake. Oh, she had a wow. massive hit from behind. That was a very, very big hit, Robart. She's going to be angry now. And there was another touch after she came back on the track, we can see here. From Borman, I think. Ready, who's... bang, there's the impact. Look at the hit and the damage to the front of the number five car. Well saved by Tora. Would have had every excuse just to be stuck in that gravel trap, but kept the boot in. Borman got Oh, oh wow. What a save. Oh, oh, he's held on to it. No, he's Charlie. lost a tyre. He's lost a tyre. There's been a tyre knocked off the rear there, and he's oh. finally lost it. He has just that... had the world's longest tank slapper. Charlie Borman, after a drive from almost the back of the field, caught up in that drama. Meanwhile, out in front, the former Socceroo, Brent Emerton, leads the way by almost five seconds over Rob Mills. And if it said to me Rob Mills would be second at the end of this weekend, uh, when we rocked up for practice on Thursday, I would have been surprised, but he's it was very impressive for two performance. He's kept out of trouble. There's the damage to Robard's car from that big contact with the back of Tora Bright's vehicle. And uh, you can see her helmet when she hit her head there come up as well. Katrina Roundtree in fourth place. Oh, Robard's way off the road. Whoa. From third, dropped it for third. That could get Katrina back on the podium. podium. That's down at turn one. He's he's gone and look at the smile on his face though. He doesn't seem too perturbed by that. All right, Murph. So put yourself in Katrina Rowntree's car now. What's she got to do to put the pressure on the number five to get this podium finish? She's been driving fantastic. Um, you know, she did just stick right in behind him. They look at the brake discs on the mess. He's gone off the road again, down at four. Well, that's what she's got to do. That's right all there. she needed she's to do. See, understeer is painful to watch, isn't it? It is painful to watch. And uh, they just need to back off a little bit, these guys. He, did, he took a big deep breath there, did Tim. And gather up. He's got plenty of pace, not giving up. Just way too Whoa. hot into turn one. Yeah, unable to slow the car down. Oh, I don't think we've seen anyone that far out in that gravel trap this weekend. Just never even got the thing to the apex. However, never got, it stopped. got it back on track. Yeah, and kept the boot in, and he could still be a a possibility of a podium finish in this one. What a dramatic day at the office for the Mazda 3 Celebrity Challenge. Now, Tommy Little and Dave Thornton. Oh! oh battle man. of the comedians, battle of the breakfast radio hosts. That is feisty, isn't it? Feisty stuff. Oh, here we go. No, Katrina's been off the road. This time she went wide at turn 10, 11, and it's cost her that podium spot for now. Where's Adam De Silva come from? He Absolutely nowhere. He's a shot for a podium. Oh, disaster for, she's for not Katrina. Giving up, she, she is not giving up. She's she not giving up. She's got an opportunity right here as Robarts goes around the outside of De Silva through 12-13 complex. He's cooked himself up a potential podium here somewhere, somehow, the celebrity chef. But Katrina Rountree back in the game now. This has been a mighty sort of battle. And Robarts has been third, fourth and fifth about six times in this race. And De Silva might get Locking. a bit of a rap on the knuckle for weaving in the braking yeah. zone there. Here's an opportunity for Katrina. Oh, this is Katrina. the opportunity she needed. De Silva's run very wide. Wow. And Katrina gets back into that fourth position. Checkered flag on show for Brett Emerton. And with Robbie McEwen out of the way, this will be a victory. The soccer superstar has turned into a very handy racing car driver and gets the flag and wins the Master Celebrity Challenge. Rob Mills coming through in second place and drive. an astounding result for him. Out. Excellent yeah. driving. Now, who is going to... Oh, in oh, the, the wall. Fence, De Silva. In the wall, coming onto the front Bat straight for the last time. Bachelor star Tim Robarts is going to cross in third. And look behind them. Is that Tora? No, that's not Tora Bright. Yeah, that's, that's Tora with damage, well, to all four corners. It is Tora Bright, <laughs> sorry, you're absolutely right. After that, that, uh, it is Tora. that incident a couple of laps ago, man, that was the most... Wow. She does not look happy. Well, she should be happy with Tim Robards. I no, would be that's who won't be her fam favourite person. I wonder if they might go upstairs to the stewards' room after that one and maybe have a look at some of the racing. They could well be there for the rest of the day, I think, Rich. <laughs> well, Brett Emerson takes a victory in the Mazda Celebrity Challenge. The brand new Mazda 3s have done an outstanding job to cop that kind of punishment. Rob Mills <laughs> second, Tim Robards home in third, remarkably. Katrina Roundtree in fourth place, Adam De Silva fifth. Tora Bright was next battle.
sold her heart out, as we've come to expect. She was six, Max Compton and Clint Stanaway, Sam Mack, Lydia Lasselet. Sam Mack coming from the back of the grid tonight. Nothing's hey, the matter with that. Let's uh, just give Rachel a bit of a bit of a leg up there. Great result, up to 13. Superb drive by her to uh, to be there and uh, do such a great job after yesterday's incident. My thanks to Murph and Ange for that one. An outstanding race in the Mazda Celebrity Challenge. Me